Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Dude, this little seal, I'm Daniel by the way, but I'm Kerflummixed. This seal has no way to open it. Like there's no, I, nothing. Hold on, is it kerfuffled or flummoxed? I'm kerflummoxed. Kerflummoxed, okay. <laughs> oh, you get it. Now you just have to tear it off. That's a weird one. What'd you get here? This is a gift uh, from... Matthew Zittrick. Yes. No, hold on, Matthew Zittrick. He is a patron saint of whiskey. Matthew Zittrick, you patron saint of whiskey. rings for a while. It does. Like a tuning fork. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got there's a harmony the to that one. Yours was a harmony. Wow. wow. All right. Hey, can I be in your band? Sure. Done. I'm the glass player. You know, I had a story of a guy who was in an old friend's band and they had a guy in the band who had a guitar. Yeah. Oh, but he couldn't play. But his dad owned a TV station. And so they're like, look, you can be, he's like, you can be in the band, but you can't plug in. And, <laughs> and the guy was, the guy goes, guy goes, that's fine with me. I just want it for the chicks. <laughs> so he said they played like a dozen shows in high school. Right. And this guy was always on stage with a guitar, with a plug. Right. But the plug Didn't was running anywhere. off stage into nothing. Didn't go anywhere. And he's just totally rocking out with the band. And he's like hanging out with a girl sitting on the yeah. couch. He's like, can, you play, can you play me something? No, man, no, no, no. No, I can't. It's gotta, my art. You gotta rest my. I gotta preserve my, my music muscles. I gotta, I gotta rest my string instrument finger. <laughs> All right, this is Rough Rider Happy Warrior Bourbon. Remember, Matthew Zittrick is the one who sent us a picture of the Rough Rider relative. Yeah, yeah. It's hanging in the distillery yeah. now. Um, but this was, uh, this is interesting. This is, remember, Long Island Spirits. Yeah. Uh, Long Island Distillery. Minimum four years in small, mm -hmm. uh, mixed with older bourbon. And then second maturation in French oak that used to have Merlot and Chardonnay and yeah. Brandy in Oh, that them. makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so it's a that's, wine cask finished that's older we're whiskey. Going. All right, because we're definitely getting some notes on the nose that are not you know, traditional, just standard virgin oak barrels. And this is cask already. strength. Oh, really? So this is really Little. hard to get. So what I want to compare it to is another... Well, let's taste it first. No, 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 no. I'm going to compare it to something else, but be thinking about right. why you're tasting this. That's why I'm saying this. Yeah. Be thinking about what other wine cask finished whiskeys you might have had in the American category that might, this might remind you of. Okay. I'm right. going to, I'm going to default to Angel's Envy. I was going to say Angel's Envy. Yeah. All yeah, right. We could do that. No, that's going to be one of the comparison that people will have. They'll know. They'll be able to get it yeah. and reference it. And, yeah. Uh, there's almost like... There's almost like, um, I want to say like a cola nose. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, like brown soda type of nose. Yeah, because it, it is still like barrel musty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you still, have, you still have that wood in there for sure. But that's, I think- the It's not as much pure wine as I would have expected. Well, but I'm saying the wine combining with those traditional bourbon. bourbon notes, I think it's it's it turning into something new. And for mm -hmm. me, it's like, it's, uh, like a soda on the nose. Along with the Woody's, there's a plenty of other, you know, classic bourbon flavors in there. That's the outstanding, interesting one. <gasps> Dude, so you that's went, you, really you, good. You dove right in. Yeah, you I, dove right in. Hang on, I'm gonna come back to that. You're not pussyfooting around. That is cinnamon toast. Remember pussyfooting? I do. Pussyfoot. Can't do it anymore. You can't pussyfoot? No, now you. Just <laughs> <laughs> Dan. <laughs> so and we're back. Dude, this whiskey just went cinnamon toast bread with jam on the taste. Straight into cinnamon bread. Yeah. And then with a jam layer. Wow. That is... That's really good for one. So, this is one of these whiskeys where... I'll start naming some specific notes in just a second. There's so many notes in there that are cranked all the way up. Full volume, mm -hmm. right? And it's very common to have... Whiskeys that are high proof, cranked up notes. Something's gonna feel a little off balance. I think this whiskey has several different things, but it doesn't feel like any single one is just domineering over everything else. Yeah, this first is batch approach, one. First approach and yeah. Dude, whoever's palate was involved in this one, well done. Mm. I'm a fan. Oh, and I'm getting like, a, it's almost like a lemon layer in there too. Mm -hmm to keep things not getting too heavy. <gasps> Add water. Wait, you need some more whiskey. I do. The water made it even better. Oh, holy crap. Oh, goodness. Dude, this bourbon. Yeah. This bourbon. Let's see here, a little bit of this. Right there. And then how much? 
chunk or a bit or uh, a... Uh, just a small amount, All right. like a couple of drops. Yeah, I already did. That. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pour Angel Zimby, but here's the thing. I don't think... That's the Imperial system, by the way. Chunks and bits. Chunks and bits, yeah. yeah. I don't think Angel Zimby's gonna beat this. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm still experiencing the water. You're ahead of me. You've been jumping. You've been jumping the gun every. Okay, step so away. Angel's Envy has the same fruitiness, yeah. but it lacks the barrel wood note, right? It woke up a lot of the sweet elements. Yeah, but it still left all the complexity of the jams and the cinnamons. Yeah, it's still herbal. Yeah, I don't know. I Ooh. think I like it without water. Mm. I prefer it without water. There were some deeper, richer, thicker, heavier notes. Yeah, in that's there true. That. We're balancing up against some of the lighter things. Like for yeah. me, I found like a lemon in there. Now it's all lifted up, all a little bit brighter and sweeter. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It's different than the Angel's Envy, not by a lot, by like maybe 20% actually, yeah. with the water added. Mm -hmm. Before the water, it was a different animal. I, with uh, water added. I rolled the dice and lost on that sip there. You did? Because usually, this is the this is the logistics. Oh, you got This is, <laughs> this is the logistics. I know what we're headed with this. Because <laughs> usually, you know, you're talking. I'll take a quick glance at the glass. Look, make sure there's no, you know. Lip mark. Moisture. Yeah, so you don't moisture. overlap the lip mark. Moisture, and I'll give it a quick turn. And I didn't see any prominent visual spots of moisture. Yeah. So I just was like, all right, here we go. I dove in. But the lip... <laughs> The, the lower lip especially, yeah, hit was... the glass, and there was so much lubrication existing there <laughs> that it just kind of went, just kind of got, got slid down the glass. It's like, oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I've never felt more close to you. That's <laughs> the lower <laughs> lip. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my stomach hurts. All right, okay, so, so it's I'm gonna let you comment on the Angel's Envy. I'm not going back for seconds. <laughs> you, want, you want a fresh glass of Angel's Envy? <laughs> I don't know, man. This may have been tainted for me. It's a lovely whiskey. I may have some some weird associations with it. Now <laughs> on. <laughs> it tastes like really awkward glances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's good. You got like that. You got that purchase. Oh. You're not slipping. Look, look. <laughs> not sli uh, I'm not slipping. <laughs> <laughs> it just sticks right there. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. It's nice, right? Both of them are really nice. Okay, so, but you see, I mean, they're like in, in the same category for right. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And within a 20% flavor profile, which holy sh**. Right. Well done. Well, and here, I'll say this. The Angel's Envy, if you're looking for, you know, American whiskey kind of bourbony flavors, mm. uh, but you want to start coloring outside the little uh, outside the lines a little bit from the right down the middle of the home plate yeah. flavors, you want to, you know, yeah, maybe not, not not weird exotic, right? But interesting and unique. Angel's Envy is a good option. It's I also think, an easy I think drinker. Same exact kind of path, same exact right. uh, uh, you know uh, you know search is going to lead you to the Rough Rider. I agree. Yeah, similar experience. <sighs> even, though, even though it's you know a little bit different, it's going to be recognizable enough to feel familiar, but unique enough. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Scott Peicher. Peicher? Pitcher? Peicher. Peicher. Here is my question. Why Austin, Texas? How did the Whiskey Marketing School get placed in all places of Austin, Texas? New York, Dallas, Chicago, Atlanta, or even San Francisco are all major hubs for international trade. But Austin? Yeah. What good could come from Austin? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just kind of where we were. It's just seems like a pretty good place. So, we got good restaurants. Oh, our food scene's amazing. Too many hipsters, though, from what I hear. Yeah, those bastards. Fucking hipsters. Somebody was commenting on, like, the hipster curve. Right? Yeah. On the hipster curves. Like, if you're, if you're in Austin, you know, compared to Austin, you're not hipsters. Right. Anywhere else in America, you guys are pretty hipsters. Yeah, if you walk into any small town in America, right. then we're hipster. In Austin, we're like the yeah. post-dated right. old hippies. We're so bourgeois. Yeah. <laughs> we just couldn't keep up. All right, we got the Michael 
W. Webb, what kind of weekend shenanigans do you do with your family when mm. away from the whiskey grind? We do escape rooms like religion. I've always wanted to do an escape room. Me you know, too. You know what these are? These yeah, I, I've always wanted to. Like yeah. you're solving your own puzzles. Right. And time. <laughs> it's all about communication. Well, and no. teamwork makes the dream work. I've always said to. I've always had this really. I'm, I'm not. It's not cruel. Right. It's not a cruel thing. It's just funny. At least for me. Maybe not other people. But I've always had this. This imagine scenario where I go into a, a, a what's it escape, room. escape room with my kids, right? And at home, when my kids have to look for something, I love my children. It's pitiful. <laughs> they'll stand in the room and they'll go, I don't see it. They, I won't, don't, they won't move around. They won't lift things up. They won't open stuff up. Just I don't know where it there. is. I have no idea. So I would want to put them in an escape room. Mm -hmm. Good luck. And then go get a long lunch. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I like hiking. Our, me and me and uh, the Arc Creek we go hiking. Yeah, yeah. Where do you hike? Well, I mean, it's easy to just do day hikes, right? So yeah. you just drive somewhere within an hour of Austin, right? And you can spend a whole day hike. Go out to Enchanted Rock. Yeah. Go down oh, to yeah. Go down to. Or, no, we went to the caverns last weekend. Oh, that was natural really Bridge natural Caverns. Bridge caverns. Yeah, yeah. That was. It's always so cool in there. Oh. And Cash, my nine-year-old, chatted up the tour guide. For the entire hour long tour. That's about right. Like she, she was walking in the front right. and Cash is just walking right next to her, just non stop. Yeah. And she's every once in a while going, Well, you know, you know, what if you do that? And we came back, we get back, and she was like, She was really nice. Uh -huh. I was like, Yeah. Uh, there's the like the, the Renaissance Festival. That's yeah, yeah, on. yeah. Yeah, it's the Sherwood Forest something. I was thinking maybe we should do that next, uh, the weekend after spring yeah. break. We did, we did it before. It's fun. Yeah. But usually it's it's sitting at home and, and just vegging. Oh my god. So. Yeah, try not to leave the house. Yeah. Yeah, I get that too. Alright, here's fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver. And if you drink, may you drink with us. us. <laughs>